Hi guys, happy October! I cannot believe it's already October and there is only two more months remaining from this year, but as I said this week I am trying my very best to catch up and post two shorter videos. So here is the first one which is a speed clean to maintain the cleanliness what we have created over the last two videos by deep cleaning nearly the whole house. But if you are just joining in, you are still welcome to use this video to get your morning or everyday speed cleaning done. And also because I usually don't decorate before I would get my full deep cleaning done. Today we will get the decorating done too as a treat for the hard work and as a motivation to get the rest of the deep cleaning done too. So let's start with making the bed which for us now is the sofa and I got my little helper with me today. I don't really prefer them to be in my videos so I usually give them some activity or we start a game what they can continue to play without me. So they usually only pop in but today my daughter insisted that she wanna help so I had no choice really. So because I want to make our home a bit more cozy for this dark and gloomy season, I will put some full decorations out and decorate here and there. Here I am trying to decide which pillow covers to use and to save some time instead of putting the covers on and taking them off, I just lay them on the pillows so I can still see how they look like. And once I decided which one to use, I will just put those on. I haven't bought new decoration this year, not just because I couldn't find any as I mentioned in my previous video, but because I want to change from this orange and red color scheme to a more softer and calmer style, bringing some more neutral decorations in, but still keeping some of those fall colors because fall isn't quite a neutral palette season, but because we are just closer and closer to the day when we could start changing things up in the living room, which means new furniture, new sofa, new rug, and this will also have an impact on the future decorating style, so financially I think the best decision is to use what I have from previous years for one more time, then once the living room will be finished then I can start adding or taking away decorations. Because we just recently wiped off all the surfaces, I will only use my dust buddy to get the dusting done. And I needed a replacement for my duster and I found this flash which is limited edition. It's not the same what I usually use, it's not that fluffy but it smells amazing. I was a bit worried that the vent that I had it won't fit but it seems like these vents are quite the same. My daughter wanted to help me dusting, so she was looking for something similar to my duster, so she found the butter washing brush. Bless her, she was so sweet. We are having lots of rain and the cat which means paw prints everywhere, so in the end I still had to wipe the TV stand again, but at least this is a great example for what I said in my full deep cleaning video, that getting the pool house deep cleaned it will allow me more time later on for these muddy days. Before I would decorate in here I wanna get the dusting done and once I did dusted every surface then I will decorate because to keep up the cleanliness is more important to me than the decorating which is more like the icing on the cake. So far we still enjoy the new layout and I love that now it's easier to get to my computer and get some editing done and if I need to cook meanwhile I can easily move back and forth or if the kids need me I can play and edit in the same time. Well the editing will go definitely slower but I can still get some clips edited by ordering from my best chef. <laughs> Everything is nice and dust free again so it's time to take care of the floor by quickly vacuuming it, then we will finish decorating in here.
I love decorating but unfortunately I am not one of those who been gifted with the creativity for it but they say that everything is the matter of feel and even decorating is a skill what you can learn so I hope one day I will get to the point where I will be able to decorate our home as good as I would love to. Don't get me wrong I still try my best to create a space what my family enjoys but it just not always turns out as Pinterest or Instagram worthy as I picture in my head but I always felt the desire to learn interior design. I love the jug there but I felt like there are too much leaves so I changed it to candles and I think now it looks way better it's more simple but still foolish and the more candle the cozier will be in the dark evenings. I loved how the vase turned out with these flowers but this space was looking too empty, I needed something taller so I went with these stamps, I don't really have many foil stamps to choose from because another thing on what I am trying to work for the last couple of years is the intentional buying and to not to run in the shops and start impulse buying just because the foil decorations are already out and they will run out of stock or because I want to upload a decorating video, instead I try to buy what I really love or really need thankfully i never was a bad shopper so it's a bit easier to get the hang of the intentional buying Now let's clean up the dining area. The other day me and my husband we did start planning and designing the new dining area and my husband already started to make the new dining table for us. Unfortunately it's not a big or really spacious house so we many times need custom furniture or really specific ones. This is with the sofa too because we need a specific size because of that angled wall next to where we would like to put the sofa. So we would need a custom size dining table as well to fit it in here. And since this is our first home, what is ours, and we don't have rental limits, the number of varieties really have grown and it's hard to choose the one. Whereas when we were renting, we had to meet the criteria set by the owner, which really decreased the number of choices to two options that are we loved or not. Guess you can hear We are done with the living room and the dining area, so the next is the kitchen, so let's tidy up in here too. All the pieces of my heart. And this split cleaning video is quite a typical morning split clean for me, only few things are added or taken because now I am decorating as well. I don't dust every morning but I do start a load of laundry, but I haven't put it in the video, but yes, usually I start by folding the sofa, tidying up from the evening before if needed, or from the morning because before school the kids often play in here. Then I start a load and I tidy up in the kitchen from the breakfast or if we bought new things and I didn't have the chance to put them away the day before, then I will do that. Because we have a cat, I like to wipe the wall worktop in the morning because she might have jumped on the countertop to get to the window or just to play so it's better to have a quick disinfecting in the morning before I would start to cook. The other day we went to look for a few full decor bits what I really loved and would have fitted in the decorating style what I want to achieve but we only found a few Halloween stuffs and they already had the Christmas decorations out and this was somewhere in the middle of September so... Anyway, I saw this red what is made out of plastic so it will be perfect for the entry door because since it's plastic I don't have to worry that what if it will get wet. So I picked one of them and we also bought a pack of Christmas crackers because it's so beautiful and it has usable knickknacks in it. Last year we couldn't find one which is nice and also has something usable in them. As you have seen it, I just quickly wiped the windowsill before adding the decorations and also as I said I loved how the vase was looking with these flowers so I decided to add it in here and I added an other vase next to the TV but that is temporary so I won't show you that for you guys today. Instead I got another idea what I want to try and if it works out then I will show you guys in one of my future videos. Now let's finish cleaning the worktop and as you can see it I try my best to follow the from top to bottom cleaning so I always start the dusting with the surfaces which are at the highest point. 
I will add a few bits of decor here too, but first I wanted to clean the cooker top as well, so then everything will be nice and clean. Here I only added a vase, what I made, and the flower from the other vase. And first I added those four leaves with the pumpkin, but because less is more, I think the leaves were a bit too much, so I took them off. It's the same day, I just had to pick up my son and outside were cold, so I had to change my clothes. But we are finishing off with the dishes, just loading the dishwasher, then I will wash the other dishes too. Only a few dishes were what needed a hand wash, it's so easy to keep up with the cleaning after a good deep clean. You only need from a couple of minutes to let's say 20 minutes for each space to clean up. But I think I say too much because for cleaning the kitchen I am sure it didn't take me more than 15 minutes. And even when life comes between me and my cleaning and my routine is out of the window and the house is a mess, once I get my time back and I'm able to get my cleaning done, I would do a deeper cleaning so it will be easier to maintain it until the next obstruction comes. Now that everything is nice and clean and decorated and I would say that it smells like fall but the truth is that I am not a big fan of pumpkin spice and apple cinnamon and all those fall scented candles. I usually get a headache from those scents but anyway it still smells nice even if it's vanilla scented only. So this is it for today, it's a bit short but I'm sure it's enough to get your cleaning going. I will try my best to post another short video on Friday and probably it will be the bathroom deep clean. So if you are in a need of bathroom cleaning motivation don't forget to subscribe to get notified when it's up. Until then thank you so much for watching guys and I see you in my next one. Bye!